प्लेटलेट काउंट व्हाट हाई और लो लेवल्स मीन ए प्लेटलेट ब्लड काउंट इज अ ब्लड टेस्ट दैट मेजर्स द एवरेज नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स इन द ब्लड प्लेटलेट्स हेल्प द ब्लड हिल वुंड्स एंड प्रिवेंट एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग हाई और लो प्लेटलेट लेवल्स कैन बी अ साइन ऑफ ए सीवियर कंडीशन द मेन प्लेटलेट काउंट ब्लड टेस्ट is typically part of a complete blood count or cbc test a cbc reveals important information about the number of different blood cells in the body platelets also called thrombocytes are fragments of larger cells made in the bone marrow called megakaryocytes what is the platelet count test The test gives a platelet count per microliter of blood. The measurement is the number of platelets a person has on average per microliter. The ideal platelet range is 1 lakh 50 thousand to 4 lakh per microliter in most healthy people. Low platelet count is known as thrombocytopenia. High platelet count is known as thrombocytosis. The test can be done on its own or as part of a complete blood count test or CBC test. A doctor will often perform a blood platelet count test if they suspect a person has a disorder that affects platelet count. What to expect? The test involves drawing blood from a vein in the arm or hand. Obtaining a sample of blood from a vein takes a few minutes and generally causes only minimal discomfort. Occasionally, some people may feel queasy or lightheaded while the blood is drawn or shortly after. Taking slow deep breaths breaths is usually enough to come this feelings some people may develop a small mark or bruise most people feel fine after the test but some experience mild aching pain at the site of the needle stick for 1 to 2 days a technician puts the blood sample into a machine that counts the number of platelets and produces a report of the findings what does it mean when your platelet count is high a high platelet count can happen when something causes the bone marrow to make too many platelets when the re reason is unknown it is called primary or essential thrombocytosis when excess platelets are due to an infection or other condition it is called secondary thrombocytosis high risk of blood clots a person's blood clots more easily when they have too many platelets clotting is a natural protection against bleeding the body produces more platelets during and following an injury however because platelets cause blood clotting they can also cause dangerous blood clots in the arms or legs the blood clot may break off or travel to another area of the body the risk of a blood clot is higher in people who are confined to bed by illness or who cannot move their limbs someone who has an elevated platelet count because of a recent injury but who must remain in bed may need monitoring to reduce the risk of blood clots as a result less serious and temporary conditions some temporary conditions can cause a higher than normal platelet count a doctor may order a retest a few days or weeks later when this happens Some common reasons that platelets are temporarily elevated include recovering from a recent injury, recovering from blood loss after surgery, recovering from excessive drinking or vitamin B12 deficiency.
intense physical activity or exertion such as from running a marathon using birth control pills most serious and chronic conditions if a person's platelet count remains high the following medical conditions may be responsible cancer lung stomach breast and ovarian cancers as well as lymphoma can cause high platelet counts additional blood testing imaging scans or a biopsy can test for cancer anemia people with iron deficiency or hemolytic anemia may have high platelets further blood testing can detect most forms of anemia inflammatory disorders diseases that cause an inflammatory immune response such as rheumatoid arthritis or inflammatory bowel disease or ibd can increase platelet count a person will have other symptoms in most cases infections some infections such as tuberculosis can cause high platelets splenectomy removal of the spleen can cause a temporary increase in platelets what does it mean when your platelet count is low a low platelet count can make it difficult for the blood to clot putting a person at risk of excessive bleeding the cause may be due to an inherited tendency to to not produce enough platelets but the cause may also also be unknown in other cases it is due to an underlying medical condition high risk of spontaneous bleeding if the blood platelet count falls below 20000 per microliters a person can begin bleeding spontaneously people who experience spontaneous bleeding may require a blood transfusion low platelet count increases the risk of death in people who have recently experienced a traumatic injury common causes common causes of low platelet volume include viruses viruses such as mono nucleosis hiv aids measles and hepatitis may deplete platelets medication drugs such as aspirin h2 blockers quinidine antibiotics containing sulfur and some diuretics may lower platelet count cancer cancer that has spread to the bone marrow can harm the body's ability to make new platelets lymphoma and leukemia are common culprits anemia a type of anemia called aplastic anemia reduces the number of all kinds of blood cells including platelets infection a bacterial infection especially speci the blood infection sepsis can reduce platelet count autoimmune disorders autoimmune diseases such as lupus and crohn's disease lower platelet count by causing the body to attack its tissue chemotherapy chemotherapy harms existing tissue in addition to cancer cells which can make it difficult for the body to produce platelets poisoning exposure to some pesticides can damage platelets cirrhosis liver cirrhosis often due to excessive drinking can reduce platelet count chronic bleeding any disorder that causes ongoing uncontrolled bleeding such as stomach ulcers can deplete platelets age platelet count also tends to decline with age a platelet count that is lower than it once was or that is on the lower end of normal may not be a cause for concern in an older adult especially if there are no other symptoms